Hey guys, it's Kyle the How-To Guy, 123 here, and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up an M.2 NVMe SSD into your desktop PC. Before we begin, make sure that your motherboard supports M.2 NVMe SSDs. My motherboard is an MSI MPG B550 Gaming Pro, and it shows on the front of the box that it supports PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drives. But it's always a good idea to consult your motherboard's manual just to make sure. You also want to make sure that your SSD is an NVMe drive. M.2 SSDs are keyed, which refers to the number of notches on the drive. NVMe drives are M keyed and should only have one notch. SATA M.2 SSDs on the other hand are M plus B keyed and will have two notches. If you do happen to have a SATA M.2 SSD, you're going to want to check your motherboard's manual to see if the M.2 socket on your motherboard supports SATA SSDs. The final thing I want to mention is to check the PCIe generation that your SSD supports. Both of the drives I'll be installing in this video support PCIe Gen 4. So if I install the SSD in a slot that supports PCIe Gen 4, it will perform faster than if I installed it in an M.2 slot that only supports PCIe Gen 3. When installing your SSD or messing with any component in your PC for that matter, make sure to ground yourself uh, either using an anti-static wristband or what I do is I just keep my computer uh, plugged into the wall but the power supply switched off and that's going to stop any static electricity from damaging your components. When installing your SSDs, it's best to place the drive that will contain Windows or your boot drive on the M.2 socket closest to the CPU. On my motherboard, the M.2 socket closest to the CPU supports PCIe Gen 4, whereas the second M.2 socket closer to the bottom of my motherboard only supports PCIe Gen 3. So as long as the first M.2 SSD supports PCIe Gen 4, it will perform faster than the second M.2 SSD in the bottom slot. Also, depending on your motherboard, if you install an NVMe SSD in the second M.2 slot closer to the bottom of the board, it may disable some PCIe slots. So once again, consult your motherboard manual for more information on which PCIe slots are affected. Some motherboards have a heatsink above the first M.2 socket. It needs to be removed to reveal the socket itself. It simply just screws off with two screws. Make sure to peel off any protective film on the rubber part of the heatsink. Insert your SSD into the M.2 socket at a 30 degree angle. Then gently press it down so it's flush with the motherboard. Now screw it in with the M.2 screws provided with your motherboard. Replace the heatsink on top of your SSD if necessary. Here is the install again with my second SSD in the bottom M.2 socket. Now that our SSDs are installed, we're going to want to go ahead and turn on our PC and boot into the BIOS to make sure that our SSDs are recognized by our PC. On my MSI motherboard, to easily see all of the drives installed on my PC, I can click on Easy Mode at the top of my screen, and in the center right of the screen, I'll be presented with a list of all of the drives installed on my PC along with their sizes. Both of the SSDs I installed in this video are recognized by my PC. The 2TB Sabrent Rocket Q4 is in slot M21, and my 500GB WD Black SN850 is in M22. We have now successfully installed our NVMe SSDs. If this is a new build, you're going to need to install Windows. You will need to boot to a Windows install media and follow the prompts to install Windows. For the most part, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, the only thing I'd like to point out here is that when asked what type of install you want, you're going to want to choose custom and then select your SSD that you want to install Windows on. If you are adding a secondary SSD to your PC, you'll need to set it up in Windows' Disk Management. Right click on the start button and choose Disk Management to open it. Immediately, you'll be asked to choose a partition style for your new disk. Choose GPT and then click on OK. Find your SSD which will have unallocated space, right click on it and then choose new simple volume. A volume wizard will appear, just click next, next, uh, then you'll be able to assign a specific drive letter to your SSD if you would like. Then just go ahead and click on next again. Under volume label you can choose to give your drive a name. Then go ahead and click on next once again and then finally click on finish. Windows will then format the drive and then it will open it in the file explorer when finished. 
And basically that's all you need to know on installing and setting up an M.2 NVMe SSD. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.